Okay, I think we are live on Facebook. Are we live on YouTube too? Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, everybody, for coming. We do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That's 8 a.m. Pacific. And we learn design space. We learn something in design space. Usually people learn something new every time. Sometimes that person is me. But I, um, today we're going to do something that I did this week. I haven't shared it yet. Uh, but I wanted to make a teddy bear in design space. And so I googled teddy bear to look at a picture. And I'm like, I can make that. So uh, I'm going to show you how I did that. And maybe you can learn how to make designs from pictures too. So good morning, everybody. We are now live on Twitch also. So if you have questions, please put them in caps. And what else do I say? Oh, we're going to do a giveaway. The giveaway is only available for those who are live right now on April 20th at 11 11 a.m eastern and you have to be able to get into the chat so if you've never chatted with us before or chatted in the chat box if you're on an ipad or something you look for a live chat right underneath the video um and on the computer it should be over to the right it may you may have a line that says open chat or something mine's just always open so i don't know how to open if it's not open Thank you, Ronald. You are amazing. So today I thought uh, for the giveaway, we'll give away a Cricut cutie. I have an open one, but he's way over there. So he is the Wisteria Cricut cutie. You could only get him if you bought the Wisteria box from Joann's. So uh, there will be, I will tell you how to donate or I just read donate I will tell you how to um, enter to win this uh, when we get closer to doing that I don't know when it is it might be in the middle of the video the end of the video we'll just have to see okay and I can read your chat on Facebook and YouTube if I can find that chat oh there it is sorry uh, hello everybody on Facebook if you are on Facebook if you could please share my video I love it if you guys like my videos share my videos you can share them anywhere you want to share them um, you have my permission to use that share button good morning everybody okay so if you're on Facebook and you want to win this little cricket cutie you want to go to uh, youtube.com slash melody lane yes donna i can read you here um so thank you everybody thank you bobby bobby's our channel cheerleader he we come in today i was a little late getting ready um we come into youtube about 30 minutes before the video sometimes even earlier and we just chat about the weather or about anything um so it's a lot of fun to come in and hang out before the video also. So if you have questions, please put them in caps and I will try to get to your questions. Jamie is going to try to copy some of the questions and put them in a doc for me. Um, so I can read those without sitting here and staring at the screen and reading while you guys watch me read because that's no fun. Um, good morning, everybody. Okay, let's get to design space. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie's always answer. If you guys ask a question in the chat, more than likely, Jamie's going to answer it for you. And sometimes you ask a question, but then you don't read the chat because she's answered it five times for you. Uh, so sometimes you have to watch the video twice, hang out and read the chat. You can learn something else in the chat than what I'm teaching in the video. So there's so many options here. <clears throat> Hi, Bobby. Bobby's on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you, everybody, for just hanging out and helping other people, too. I love to see people help people. It feels good. It's 
a win-win situation when you help anybody. I always feel just as good helping as I do getting help. Okay, so, um, oh, wait a minute. Let me show you this. So this teddy bear um, is going to be a card like this. Um, so it's going to, this is what I did Thursday. And you open it up, <clears throat> and this pops out and says, Happy Spring. Well, I've been wanting to do this a bear or an animal like this for a year now for a total year i have finally figured out how to make my teddy bear pop up so it's gonna say i love you and then when you open it up this bear is gonna be where all these daisies are and the bear is gonna pop out and say this much you know when i was a kid they'd be like i love you this much you put your arms out so i've wanted a bear to say that so that's what I've made, and I was looking at this and looking in the layers panel, and there's so much in the layers panel that is different now and better now than before. I always do a video uh, of the new releases, the new updates to Design Space, and I did that, but then I don't know that I realized all that's really changed in that last update. There's a lot. So let's go over to Design Space. Okay, isn't this the cutest bear? I like it because I made it. <laughs> so what I did to make this bear, and I'm so sorry, my dog sleeps right next to me in my, by my paper behind me, and he is snoring. So I went to Google, and I put in teddy bear, and I clicked on images. And I thought, yeah, I, I can make a teddy bear out of free shapes, right? Because, okay, this one's making me laugh. Um, because um, all the designs that I create in Design Space, I share with those who support my channel on Patreon or YouTube or Facebook. You guys get those files. But like the daisies, these daisies are from Design Space. I didn't make these for free. They're 99 cents in design space. They're included in access. So if you don't have access and you want to use this card because this is all made with the daisies, you might have to pay 99 cents to Cricut. I don't get that. For me, on YouTube and Facebook, it's $4.99 because they set those prices. I don't get all that. And on Patreon, it's only $2 and you get hundreds of files my designs and i try to make them out of free like i made the pop out part out of free and then you can edit and make your own also but then if you don't have access you might have to purchase this so i wanted a pop out completed card for my supporters that was totally free and cute and awesome and something everybody could use so i made that with the teddy bear so i'm going to show you how um this is the main one i was looking at but of course i had to have the arms different but i'm like that can you guys see the shapes that is pretty much made out of free shapes like a circle mostly a circle can you see how teddy bear would be made out of a circle okay so here's what i did and also, I was getting to make the eyes, and I'm like, I don't like playing with little bitty pieces. You guys know that. I lose them. So I decided to make the eyes and nose and this mouth is all drawn on there. Uh, Creative Touches says, is there a video regarding the daisy card? I did the daisy card live on Thursday. I didn't show you how to create the, the, the daisy card in Design Space because you can get it and hundreds more for only $2. Um, but I wanted these to write and I wanted to fill it in. So does anybody out there want to learn how to make it draw and fill it in? Is that something you guys want to learn how to do? Here, I test cut this this morning. I didn't test cut the whole card. That's why I haven't shared it yet. I just 
and he's not glued together. I did lower his nose a little bit after I did this. Now I drew this on with um, the fine point. If I would have used the one point pen, it would have been totally filled in without any spots. It's kind of blurry. Can you see that? So I attached his eyes to this piece and then attached this to that piece. Isn't that much easier than working with little pieces? It is. If I would have used the marker, this would have been totally filled in, but I kind of like it like that. But I might try it with a bigger one on his nose. Okay, let's go back over. Okay, so I have a lot to show you actually about the layers panel and about changing things all at once. Design Space has made it so much easier and they're always working on it and making it even better. So, what do we have to do first? Let me zoom out. So this is the other part I made. I sliced this out and sliced, um, let me zoom in on this. So I have these words. Do I still have the words or did I? So I had these words, and what I did is um, I took a square, and that square is going to be way up here at the top. Drag that down. We're going to zoom back out. Okay, we're going to unlock the square, and we're going to just make a thin line. Thank you, Kyle. So I'm going to make this line longer than this. Can I slice that? Yes, I can. I was just making sure it wasn't edited. So I put this line through here, slice it, then move, move all the pieces. I guess I'm showing you guys a lot today. So now, let me make this smaller now. Um, let me get another text box so I could, whoops, not text, shape. Okay, now I'm gonna slice this. I'm gonna change the color, change the color up at the top. We're just doing this just really quick. We're gonna unlock this so I can make this, a, let's just say I want it like that. I'm gonna delete this after I do it. Just to let you know. Okay, I gotta spread out my browser so I can see a range. Oh, I could have just right clicked, I forgot. Okay, so now I wanna make a stencil and keep the O. So I'm not cutting this out with vinyl. I'm going to cut it out with paper. And I know it, this font doesn't leave spaces, so I had to do something special for that too. But um, I want to make this a stencil and keep the O. Okay, so I'm just going to put it over this paper. And I'm going to select it. And I'm going to slice and pull all these out. So now I can have this with that O there. And that's what I did on this. This, I, in another file is the one I'm actually sharing, not this one. This one is just playing with you guys today. Um, so on the front of the card, I'm going to have options for you. You can say, I love you this much, or I miss you this much. So I did that with the O and that. And then I thought, well, I could just make, put it over here and have a color here. I could uh, do like a hot mess and color this all different colors and put that over it. You can do pattern paper and put this over it or put cut this out of pattern paper and make this solid paper. There are so many options, guys. 
So this I'm just all planning on cutting out of paper. This is just one sheet of paper. It's not piecing. This is a piece and that's a piece, but. So you don't have to mess with little letters. Thank you, Ron. I will buy Sheila a Starbucks. I think I owe her two or three now. <laughs> um, so that's that. And I'm sorry if I'm going fast. I think I'm going to go fast because I have so much to show you. So you can always watch this again and pause. The best way to learn design space is to watch what I show you, pause the video, you go do design space. If it doesn't turn out just like I did or if it didn't work for you, then rewind the video and watch it again. You might have missed a step. I'm not showing you anything magical at all. Let's get rid of these pieces. Okay. So now this is all grouped together. This is something I want to show you. Oh, let me move this over more. Uh, the font is Holiday Cookies. It's not a Cricut font. I think it's Holiday Cookies. Okay, so we have group here. I can hide this entire group. Everything, the top group is everything. Now I have a group here. Now this group is only for, do you see what it's for? When I hide this group, it's his um, lighter pieces here. Now I also have all of these different things attached. Okay, let's ungroup the first group. So we're gonna select the first group and we're gonna go up to the top and click ungroup. Okay, so now it's not all one big piece. Let's, so now this was the second one that's grouped. It's all of these are grouped. You know what, let me try some. No, wait a minute. Um, so if I click attach and hide the attached pieces, you can see everything that's attached here. You can click this arrow and it will hide all that. So your layers panel is not as big. So all of this is in the attached, but it has another attach here. So this one underneath it is only the writing. And you can see it all says draw, 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 draw. So there I'm changing the writing. There's so many draw things because you have to fill it in. So I'll show you how. Um, but I want to try something first. Oh, no, it won't let me. I was wondering if I could change the color on the whole grouped image. So what I did is I attached all of these lines for the nose. I'm going to ungroup these. So I have these all selected, ungroup. So now I just have this. So we're gonna pull this one over to the side and we're gonna zoom in. Okay. Um, these are all the lines. So we are going to detach it. So to detach, it's at the bottom of the layers panel. Yeah, you don't have to slice out that O that I did. You would just have to glue the middle part on there if you want it. And I didn't want to do that. Okay. So these are all attached. Now I attached this after I created this, then I attached it to this. Otherwise, it would not draw onto this shape. So I'm going to detach this. Okay. Oh, that's attached. See, I have so many things attached. 
So these are separate. Can anyone guess how he made these pieces? Can you guess? What are these made from? Now I'm gonna undetach this, his nose. There are so many pieces in his nose. So what I did is I made score lines, change them to draw lines. Mary, that's what I'm an answering now, how I drew the lines for the nose. So, oh, there's another line. I didn't want his nose to be a complete circle. So I just welded a few shapes together. So this is all his pieces for his nose. Yes, I sliced a circle to get these pieces. And I just did one and duplicated it. And I think I flipped it. And then this piece is a square made really small. See, it's a square. And then you just, I, I just attach them. Actually, these two I aligned. And I have to make this bigger to do that. But I aligned them so they're even. So this, which this is the biggest one. So this was a cut image. Oh, now it's a print and cut. I just want to, oh, why is it set to print? No fill. Cut. Okay, I don't know why it's not changing now. But it was a cut image just like this was. Let me duplicate this. Let's pretend his, this is his nose. So you just make it smaller. You have this selected, you change it to draw. Go under line type to change things. And then what I did, I'm gonna go down here just so you know what I'm doing here. And I will zoom in. So what I did is duplicate it a few times and then I made it smaller. There, there was no science to this at all. This is all I did. This is how I filled it in. Whoops. Oh, I need some more pieces. And then I thought, well, it's all just circles. I need more to fill that in. So that's when I grabbed a score line. So I went to shapes. Christina, that's possible that I could have just found a J and reversed it to make the mouth. I didn't think of that. But if I didn't own the font for that J, then I would have had to, well, if it's a Cricut font, would have had to buy the font if you don't have access. And I didn't, I didn't want to use anything that anybody might have to buy. Okay, so I got a score line because I thought, well, I'm just going to add some lines here to fill that in better so it's not just those circles. So change this score line to draw and duplicate it. And I didn't want it going up and down. I wanted more of a diagonal look. So you really should just duplicate it before you or after you turn it. And then I wanted some different sizes of lines. So I made them shorter. And I placed them all there. And actually, I can add a few more of the circles. Let me get some circles. Let's do this one and duplicate it. So you can just that. You don't have to have it solid. You can use a bigger marker to make it fill in better. 
but you have to attach it all. So I'm selecting it all and clicking attach. Now when I want it to draw onto something, I would have to put it here and attach it to that so it will write on top of that. Thank you, Bernadette. Uh, everybody has the zoom at the bottom of the screen. Unless you're on an iPad, then you just use your fingers and spread them out. Okay. Does this make sense? And did you learn something new today? Uh, Donna on Facebook says, I have the Air and the Maker. Do you want to use both? Go ahead and use both. You can just open a new tab on the computer. Okay. If you guys learned something, raise your hand. All right. Um, Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, we went through. Now, if you wanna change the color, oh yeah, these aren't grouped anymore. This one's grouped. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna show you how to create the teddy bear. Um, when I created one leg, I just duplicated it and flipped it too. So I did one leg how I wanted. And this right here, this top part of his leg. Oh, I feel like I just cut off a teddy bear's leg. Is actually writing. See, it's a circle that is drawn. So these are attached. I'm going to ungroup. Oh, I hit it. I didn't ungroup. Oh my gosh, I'm getting confused. Okay, it's ungrouped now. This is attached. Let's detach. See, this is a circle. Because I had it like this. Let me move that. Send to the back. Okay. I had it like this and I didn't like it. There's something about that I did not like. So I'm like, it needs this. So I put that on it. Doesn't that look much better? So it will draw right on there. Oh, so thank you, Ronald. The leg look, yeah, it looks like a lot of different things, I think. Okay, so um, do we want, do you, I think I'm going to start over in a new canvas and you know I'm just gonna open another tab this is the same file but I'm gonna hit new okay uh, so we're gonna look at the teddy bears and um, create one. All right, so let's go to shapes. I'm going to need some circles. Um, I'm going to zoom out because I have my whole computer zoomed so you guys can see all my buttons really well. That's why my, and my mouse is huge. That's for you guys. Um, I'm just gonna duplicate some circles and put them over here. We should, I like to work with the color I'm working with. I want this, but I don't want it so dark. Okay, we're gonna make the head first. And I want these all the same color, so I'm gonna go over here to Color Sync. 
and I'm just going to drag this down so they're all the same for now. That's all we want. Um, okay, let's look at the teddy bear's head. So the teddy bear's head is not completely circle. They're all a little bit different. So we can do it any way we want to. Remember that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your teddy bear. You can make it any way you want. So I just unlocked it and flattened it a little. Okay, um, let's do the belly. The bellies are all different too. Let's take one, let's unlock it. Um, maybe a belly like that. But remember, they're not like this. They're, their heads are really sitting on their bodies. See? See how much... This one has a skinnier neck, and this one... You know, you choose what you want to make. Make a fat little belly. Okay, uh, let me duplicate these. How about ears? Let's look at the ears. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much half circles. Let me turn it a little. Okay, I want the ears to be exactly the same, so I'm going to duplicate, and then I'm going to flip it. Where's my flip? There we go. Flip horizontal. And I like to align these, so I'm going to select only the ears and align top. Just make sure they're even. They're not even on the side, though. Oh, you know what I can do? Select the head and the ears and align center. I don't know if that's going to work. Nope, it didn't. Um, I'm just going to eye this one. There's probably a way and I don't, can't think of it. Okay, so those are the ears. This does not look that great. Sometimes what I do, if I'm not totally sure, because when you weld something, it stays welded. Now we're just using circles. We can easily remake them, but I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate them, move them over here, and I'm going to weld these. And I'm going to check you guys if you have questions. Okay, um, so it doesn't look that much like a teddy bear really yet. You have to wait until you get all the other parts together and, um, oh, see, I'm glad I duplicated this because I need the head again. We're going to make the inside of the ears. I'm going to arrange them to the front and I'm going to make these a different color. We're going to just duplicate it so we don't have to work with size. We're going to place it exactly where we want it. This is the head. We're going to make that in the front. And I, I wanted, I made the ears so they came down a little bit further than the very top round part of the head. I kind of like them that way. So I'm going to, well, you know what I can do? I can just cut it and then pull them down a little too. I'm going to move these up a little. And then I'm going to select these. I select one, hit command. I think you can hit shift too. Yeah, you can hit shift. And I'm going to weld these together. Now I'm going to take this, move this to the front. I right click to do that. I'm going to place this right over that. 
And we are going to, let's duplicate this just in case we need it later. We're gonna select the head and the little ears and we're gonna slice. Now it looks like we're slicing more than two images, but we're not. There are only two layers selected because I welded the ears together. I can do it in one slice. So now I have the inner parts of his ear. Okay. Let's change the color of this. And we're gonna make his little nose. You can make this any way you want. You can go look at the other bears. How are their, their snouts, I guess is what they are. You can make it any way you like it. And that goes here. And let's duplicate a circle. We're gonna make his eyes. So we're gonna make this draw and then duplicate, 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 duplicate like a million times and just shrink them down and put them all on top of each other. You know what I could do? Just take those and duplicate those. Turn it around a little. Make it a little smaller. Then we got lots and lots of lines. It will fill it in if that's what you want. See, that's much faster. It's also way too many lines. You probably don't need that many. The more lines you have, the longer it's gonna take to do. Okay, then we're gonna attach that. We're gonna duplicate it. Oh, no. We're going to delete it. That's way too big for his eye. Well, it doesn't have to be. Make it there. This one will have bigger eyes. So we're going to duplicate the eye so it's exactly like the other eye. Now, if we go to cut this, it's not going to draw these on there, right? So let's hit make it and see what happens. See, it's just doing it on there. We need it to be on our bear. So what we need to do, move those out of the way and just attach. So every time you attach slice, weld, or group, or anything like that, it brings it to the front. So now these are in the front. So I'm going to arrange him to the back. Put these back on. And we could do the same thing with the nose. And then for the arms, now let's look at these bears. We're gonna do different arms. Where's that one? Should we do a high one? Hmm. I put a little like hand at the end. I feel like that. Whoops. Let's just make it. Make it a little fatter. Okay, I'm going to, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna duplicate this in case I wanna make that a draw line because this line right here is gonna be gone because we're gonna weld it. And then I can put that on top. Attach that so that line will draw right on top of that and then duplicate. You could put one arm down if you want. You can do it however you want. You don't have to weld these to the 
little guy, you can uh, weld them if you want. Oh, but if you weld them, you have to undetach that first. So if I wanted to weld this, I would have to detach this and then weld that. Let me see what it's welding. Oh, see, it has all these things selected. We have to detach those first. Let's move all this out of the way so we're not confused. So we're going to detach his eyes. We're going to take his body. Now, you don't have to weld it. You could glue it like behind his body like this if you want. And then that way you can always change it. But you could weld it. Now move this to the back. And you could attach his eyes now, but if we're going to be welding more, we might as well wait. And if we can take this, we'll have to attach that. And we're going to raise this out of the way. I can make a little paw inside here. Whoops. I kind of like it not welded like this, but in the back of his arm. So you can move them how you want. Okay, let me go look at your questions. Um, Lisa, I hope I've answered your question. This is how I made the bear with shapes. Melody's Build-A-Bear. Okay. Okay, have you guys learned something so far again? <laughs> um... You know what? I'm going to duplicate this arm. You know what? I'm going to undo. I don't like that arm welded. The only way you can unweld is if you undo. So I'm undoing. I could just start over with that bear and take these pieces. That's why I duplicated them before. Ooh. Wow, I did a lot since I welded that arm on. There we go. Um, I'm going to duplicate it. See if I can make his feet out of the same thing. No, I don't think they'll work the same. I didn't do that on the other one. This one, I just recreated more feet. And I wanted his feet to kind of look like he's sitting. And I have to duplicate this and make that writing to make the feet better. I like his foot like that. So if I weld these, change this to writing. Well, let me duplicate it first. Change to draw. 
put that over that. Make this a little smaller and change the color. Like I said, if I'm going too fast, I'm going to arrange it to the front. You can rewatch and pause it and do one step at a time. You can pause the video after each step. Okay, I'm going to select just these and group them and duplicate them. And move them up a little. And oh, this is his snout. Now, somebody said, can you just use the letter J for his mouth? Well, let's just see. J, and we want it writing. Thank you, Elsa. Um, you could do that. Like I said, you can make it any way you want. Here, I'm going to move these over here. Let me see. How cute. They're aligned, I can tell, just by selecting them. So I'm going to attach them. So thanks for that. Um, you can totally do that. Uh, okay, now we need... Let's just duplicate this. We're just going to make a round nose. duplicate it oh wait that's not what I meant to duplicate I'm gonna select it all and duplicate make it a little smaller actually there now I'm gonna duplicate all that duplicate it again duplicate it again Instead of just duplicating one, whoops, they're not glued, they should be glued. Oh man, now they're not grouped. This is why you should group. Now I gotta move each one at a time. Okay, we are grouping this and we are duplicating it. Wow, this is gonna be a lot of drawing. I really wouldn't do this many guys. I would use a thicker pen if you want it done that much. This might be way too much. We're just going to do it for now. Because I'm not actually going to make this bear. See, look how solid that is. Oh my gosh. So now if we want this on that little piece, we have to attach it. I'm going to move everything over here. I'm going to attach. I love those J's. I'm going to attach, and that's the Cricut Free font. I might change mine to these. Thanks for that tip. See, I learned something today. I love it when I learn from you guys. What do you think? Do you guys think you can do this? I'll delete all that. 
Isn't he cute? Duplicate. Yes, Brandy on Facebook is asking, you could paper piece the eyes and nose if you want. Yes, you can. Just make little circles. H however you want the shape of the eyes, you just make that shape. And then for his belly, what I did is I added a heart. I, didn't, I don't like this shape of heart. So I... Uh, I changed the shape a little. I don't remember what I did, but I just changed it to till I liked it and put it little like that. I'm gonna move this to the back. I like his arms coming from the back. There! Is that not cute? Yeah, if you want to make this for a shirt, you could um, not do drawing here. I just was showing you how you can fill in drawing. Um, you would want these to cut out. All right, did you guys learn something? Do we have questions? Is there something else you want me to teach you really quick? Like quick questions? No, there has not been any changes in design space this week. But I get a lot of questions. Uh, oh, I didn't group these. I like to group these. I'm going to hit shift and select all these pieces and group them. Now, if I, these are grouped, and if I wanted to change the color of just one of these, I could just click on that piece and change the color. Oh, uh, now it looks like I cut his arm off and he's bleeding. It's not such a great color, though. Let's make purple. Um... Look at all these circles. Design Space will not like this many circles. I suggest you do not do that many circles. You can always change the color of the bear. You can make him a pink bear if you want. And then all you have to do is change one color and then you can go to Color Sync. You guys can't see Color Sync, sorry. Let me move this. Okay, so we were on the Layers panel, click Color Sync. And then it shows all the colors. And I want all the brown pieces to be that color. And let's say I want all of these pieces to be purple. Oh, but you know what? See, that does that when you do that. It changed all the circles to purple. And then you have to go one at a time and change them back. So if you want to do that, we're, we're going to undo. And hopefully they will change back. There they go. Um, we want to select this attachment and detach. Oh, we have to ungroup first. And then select that and detach. So now we can go to color sync and now move all of these to purple. And now go back to the layers panel 
and now select this, hit shift, and then select, click on the other piece, and then attach it back. Got it? Okay, oh, we gotta do the giveaway. And uh, for those of you that don't know, don't follow me on Instagram. I am giving away, thank you, Bucky Mom. I'm giving away a Cricut Maker and one year of Cricut Access. Anyone interested in that? You get to choose the color of the Cricut Maker also? That ends on Thursday. I think that's when I draw the winner on Thursday. You have to follow me on Instagram. Melody Lane 815 is my Instagram handle. Go follow me on Instagram. Go through my pictures, and there is a picture that has a picture of the maker and a little access picture, and it says giveaway. Uh, it has all the directions in there. All you have to, it's really easy. You don't have to do anything special. You have to tag a few friends in it. Um, so, uh, go there to try to win. And also, yeah, this ends Tuesday, I almost forgot. If you are in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane on Facebook and you go up to the announcements, read my post that says sales, sales, sales. It has a picture, it says flash sale on the picture. It also says, let me pay for your order. So I'm going to pay for one Cricut order. I'm gonna randomly choose a winner. If you purchased a Cricut order using my link from April 17th until Tuesday, you will be entered or you have to show a screenshot of your order history and post it in the comments on that post. And I will pay up to $100. If your order's more than 100 and you get chosen, I will give you $100 back. So I'm giving you money back. Um, that is like way too big. <laughs> couldn't you, I couldn't even read who joined Patreon. Um, I'm giving you $100 back or up to that, whatever you spent on your uh, Cricut order. So we gotta give away this little guy. So if you are on Facebook and you are live in the chat, type in the word cutie, C-U-T-I-E. If you can't get the links to work, then maybe call Cricut. If you can get to the Cricut site without my links, then you may have uh, something blocking it, like an ad blocker or something. So type in the word cutie to be entered to win, and you have to be on YouTube. So if you're not, if you're on Facebook, you have to go to youtube.com slash Melody Lane and click on the live video. <coughs> Lots of people want to win. It only works, you only get entered once, even if you type it five times. Oh, we have a winner. Okay, let me. Bring this over here. And where are you guys? Okay. All right. We got a winner, guys. Did Nightbot tell you who the winner was? Mary Ann Kilpatrick. Woohoo! So, Mary Ann, message me. I will need your address. It's not going to be sent out until Monday. Um, that was fun, wasn't it? So you guys come back next Saturday. I will be doing another design space class. 
I will be doing a video on Tuesday, hopefully with my teddy bear popping out. Kind of popping out like this one. I don't know where the camera is. I love that. Happy spring. Doesn't that just brighten up your day? Happy spring, everyone. Um, congrats, Marianne. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, if you ever have any questions or if you're a newbie about Cricut Design Space, join my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. We are always helping people. So many people are helping other people. It is just, when you help somebody, it's so win-win. It makes me feel so good that I can teach you guys something and help somebody. I've done lots of vinyl videos. I don't have a code for Arteza right now. Um, let me see if I can get one Monday. Yes, happy Easter, everyone. I also did, did you guys see these other cards? Have an awesome Easter, everybody. Isn't it cute? This is one of my favorites. I did this, I don't remember, last week or the week before. I like sound effects. I couldn't find any enabled video skills that can find that. Go to the Alexa I wasn't talking to, to her. video skills and devices. Um, so happy Easter. Everybody who supports my channel on patreon.com slash Melody Lane or if you click the join button on YouTube or click the support button on Facebook on my Melody Lane Designs page, you get hundreds of my files. Hundreds! Oh, and I also want to say, for those of you still here, uh, so many people are afraid of design space. They're afraid to open up their box. They're, uh, I saw a comment today, uh, they're afraid to make the big, huge flowers. And I asked her what she's afraid of. I, I don't know if she answered or not. I, I get so many notifications, I cannot possibly go back and see them all. Sometimes I just happen to see that or somebody else comments and I get notified. Uh, but what are you afraid of? It's okay to make mistakes. Totally okay. It's expected. Do you guys think I do something one time and I'm perfect? Okay, I do it 10 times. I'm still not perfect. I have flowers above, like big paper flowers above my windows. I've shared those all over many times. Um, the, when you look at them up close, they're really not that great. Nothing I do is perfect. I don't even try to make it perfect. If I try to make something look perfect, I'd spend hours and hours on one little thing. That's not going to happen. That's not fun for me. Making something perfect is not fun for me. Although I don't sell things, but you shouldn't sell things unless you've done them many times and you have perfected it and you've worked hard at it and you know you can do it. That's when you start selling things. So don't be afraid to do anything. If you were a baby and you were just afraid to start walking, you would never start walking. Don't not do something because you're afraid. You should never let fear stop you from doing anything except for jumping off a bridge. Seriously. It's okay to be afraid. Just do it. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to bite you. You're not gonna break anything. So I just want you guys to know, if you're afraid, you're letting fear run your life and you should not do that. And I'm not talking about just cricket or just design space or just crafting, anything in life. Do not be afraid. If you want your life to get better, don't be afraid to change it. You have to take that step. 
All right, guys, now I'm preaching. Yes, it's just paper. But I don't want anybody to be afraid of anything. Never let fear stop you. It will all be okay, I promise. Everything will be okay. Just try it. Just do it. All right, guys, I love you. I want you to have an awesome Easter if you celebrate Easter. Thank you, April. And thank you everybody who comes to my videos and comes and chats live. I know not everybody can do it live and I understand that. Never have to apologize for not being here. Um, so thank you everybody and have an awesome weekend. Love you all. Bye.